Hello, this is Dubious Insights, and this is Particle Life. So here we have four different types of particles, and they each have different attractions or repulsions from particles of the same or other types. And when you throw a bunch of particles in there, we get, you know, behavior in unpredictable ways. We get emergent behavior, in this case, kind of chaotic blue and yellow. Red just sort of hanging out, not doing much. Green, eh, kind of not doing much. The way this works is that the fundamental unit is a particle, and every particle randomly gets assigned some amount of attraction or repulsion from a, from a particles of a different type. And all types will have different attractions and repulsions to each other. So this is not like real physics where every, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Here, they can be different. And these are attraction repulsions are randomly set. The other random thing that we're setting is that these forces will act at some minimum and some maximum distance. And if they get too close together, if they actually overlap, they'll, ha they'll all have repulsion. The result of this is that we can get motion because the, you know, one particle can flee from another. And then here we have green fleeing from red and red chasing green. And this gives us basically adds energy to the system. We'll yank the energy out using friction. But here with just a couple of particles, we get kind of, you know, kind of like these rocket. There's also whatever blue's doing. Blue's just sort of doing its own thing. Of course, they're not limited to a dozen particles. Here, this, these ones are all randomly assigned. Emergent behavior, we get clumpings for particles that are attracted to each other. Particles that are repelled from each other will move away. And it looks like red here is not doing much of anything. Or... This is a set of particles I've specifically coded to make planetoids. So the red and the orange are heavily attracted to each other, and the green is also a little bit attracted to red and orange, but the green is repelled from other green. So what, what we're getting is a red and orange planet with a nice green outer layer, reminiscent of some planets you might know. And by happenstance, just by luck, I happen to be getting these spaceships that move on their own, which is kind of interesting. One thing that I found was pretty important in making reasonable planets was that the friction needs to be set at the right level, and also the repulsion force needs to be set at the right level. Here's an example where I turned up the repulsion force a little bit, and I also turned the friction down a little bit, so particles would move faster, and as a result, they'd intersect, they get intersect with each other more, and then they blow apart. So they, instead of the red and orange, you know, forming a nice stable planet with a green outer rim, now I get this chaotic red and orange going around and causing problems for the other colors. Anyway, this is Particle Life, and I'm Dubious Insights. Thanks for watching.